one issue you can run into using background images on your front panel is uh, the one I'm showing here where it gets kind of hard to read the controls and, and actually interact with the panel due to the busyness of the background. Now one easy solution to this is to add a decoration and put it behind your controls. So if you were to add something like a flat box and then send that to the back, it makes it easier to read your controls, but then really why would you add the background image if you're just going to completely cover it up? The, um, you'd be better off just picking an appropriate background color. But this brings me to one of my favorite techniques is using PowerPoint to generate some custom imagery that we can use to essentially make our own decoration. And this is an effect that you would be quite familiar to any iPhone owners out there in terms of a darkened but somewhat translucent background. So if I make a new shape here in, in power, using PowerPoint, and I'll just use the rounded rectangle, just the corners there, and we'll customize that shape by going to Format Shape. I'll go for a gradient fill, and you'll see here I, I use a gradient where both Stop 1 and Stop 2 are black, and the only difference is the level of transparency. So I've got somewhere in the middle on the first one, and then a little less transparent on the first stop. Line color, I'll just choose a, a nice light gray line two-point thickness, and add a shadow. So what I'm going to do is use this as the backdrop for my controls. That'll make it easier for the user to read them, but still lets some of that attractive background image show through. So in order to get this into Lab View, if you just right-click on, on the shape you created and say Save as Picture, save this as a PNG file, that'll preserve the transparency. And then if we go into Lab View and go Edit, Import Picture to Clipboard, and then select the file that we just created. And then if I hit Control V to paste, it'll paste in that image we just created, preserving the transparency. If I were to copy and paste directly from PowerPoint, I would not get the transparency. So it's important to note that import picture from clipboard stage. I'll position it how I need it, and then move to back. And then when I put that in run mode, you see it's nice and easy to read my controls, but I still have the attractive uh, background image showing through.